Good evening, people watching the 65 Lisa Boys. Um, first of all, I'm gonna, um, it was brought to my attention that somebody is going around using uh, different profiles of watch men and women and asking for money. I don't know what the deal is, but someone, uh, sent me something uh it's a scammer and someone sent me something um saying that uh child of god it goes on like this and i think they sent it to tim and i think they sent it to chad and uh i remember vaguely seeing something about this but they're using their profile picture making it look like it's them or making it look like it's me or whatever I'm putting it out there. If you've seen it, I am not going around doing this. But it says, child of God, uh, let us pray for our country, country, nation, state, community, and our households. And I've seen this, but I didn't, I didn't think nothing of it. So if you see um, something like this um, on your comment or whatever i am not going around asking nobody for money believe me i'm not um and this is a this is a definite scam because it's got an international number and usually scams like this are out of nigeria or out of overseas somewhere in one of those countries um yeah it starts off child of god and i've seen it but i didn't like i said i vaguely uh looked at it child of god let us pray for our uh, country's nation states community and our households especially our families regarding the pandemic and it goes on and on to say uh these children 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 are in need of help uh you can donate um and it's got it's got a number here, and it's an international number. So I just want you to know, if you see my profile uh, thumbprint on anything asking for money, that's not me. I don't go around asking nobody for nothing. Period. I wanted to get that out there. Uh, so I just wanted to get that straight. I'm not asking nobody. <laughs> I'm not asking nobody for no money. So if you see my profile out there or see my name on something like this, it's not me. I, I want to get that out there right now. That's terrible that people do stuff like that. They're trying every which way they can to ruin your ministry. And it's just not good. But anyway, I'm here to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to scripture. Our only requirement in the dispensation of grace is to believe in the finished work of uh, what he did at the cross. Um, my allergies are really bad today. Um, it is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. At least any man should boast. It's not of something that you can do. It's not of something saying, Lord, look at what I've done. Look, I repented, Lord. I did this. I did that. No, it's not about you. It's about what he did for you at the cross. He paid the price by spilling his blood. It's all about the blood of Jesus. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life, period. Once you accept Christ as Savior, you are saved and sealed until the day of redemption. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. You are baptized with the Holy Spirit the moment you believe in Jesus Christ. And the moment he is Savior in your life, you've automatically repented. You will never lose your salvation, period. That's the gospel. That's the simple gospel. It's all about your faith being in the blood of Jesus. That's where your faith lies, period. Not only are you saved and sealed until the day of redemption, but you are rapture ready. There you go. Someone just sent me this article. One of my subscribers just sent me this article. Oh, and by the way, I do appreciate 
your donations. I, I really do. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. But once again, let me get this straight before I get into this article. I would never go around asking people for money. Never. You know me. Those who have been around me for the longest knows me. I'd never do that. So if you see my profile anywhere, no, that's not me. Period. But this article was sent to me. China state media says country must prepare for nuclear war with U.S. after Sleepy Joe asked for COVID probe. Now, folks, something's going on. For real. It says, um, it goes on to say, The editor of the Chinese state-run newspaper, The Global Times, considers enhancing China's nuclear program as being vital to the country's strategic deterrence against the United States. Protests in Hong Kong, Taiwan, uh, the COVID pandemic and accusations China, China's engaged in the genocide against Muslims are sowing deeper divisions in an already strained relationship between China and the United States. It says with Beijing one of the Americans' top concern, Sleepy Joe has fought to strike, has sought to strike the stern tone. While China sees much of Americans' actions and comments to be an encroachment on its sovereignty. This is pretty serious, indeed. The increasingly confrontational rhetoric and military maneuvers coming out of the two countries have raised concerns about a potential war. Now, this is off of Newsweek, a a left-wing radical um, magazine. We must be prepared for an intense showdown between China and the U.S. Um, The editor of the uh, Chinese-run newspaper Global Times wrote in a Thursday op-ed for uh, for the Global Times, the number of China uh, nuclear warheads must reach the uh, quantity that makes the U.S. elites shiver should they entertain the idea of engaging in a military confrontation with China. Uh, His name is, uh, I just call him by his first name, Hugh. I don't know his last name. But um, he advocated for rapidly increasing the number of commissioned nuclear warheads, the F-41s, and intercontinental ballistic missile and strategic missiles that have long-range capabilities. It goes on to say before Sleepy Joe drew China's ear for his push for an investigation into the Oregon origin of the uh, COVID tensions mounted over an American warship sailing through Taiwan Strait. In his op-ed, Hugh wrote the building up China's nuclear arsenal is important because American strategic commitment of China is becoming increasingly intensified. This is serious. This is very serious. First, we saw ships on Hawaii from uh, Russia. Who knows what Iran is doing right now and Hamas. Now we're seeing this. I'm telling you. I feel that something's going to happen. I feel that something's going to break and everything is coming in at one time. That's what's happening right now. Everything is coming in at one time. It's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen this month. This month. I feel that something's about to go off. I don't know what. And I'm hoping it's the rapture. (laughs) I'm praying for the rapture. But something is is coming to an head. 
you know, everything, and I'm going to say this, <laughs> this should give you something to think about. Everything that's happening right now has an expiration date. It has an expiration date. When it is, I don't know. But all of things, all of this stuff that's happening is going to explode into one big bomb. Because it's just, it's just too much. It's just a lot that's happening right now. <laughs> this article is very serious. I'm going to link this article in the description box. God only knows what's going to happen next. We're not appointed to God's wrath. By no stretch of the imagination. We are not appointed to the wrath of God. We... Have a crown waiting for us. Especially those who love his appearing. It says so in 1 Timothy, I believe. But in the meantime, I'm going to link this in the description box. If anything else comes up, I'll see you in the next video. Again, if you see something like that, it's not me. It's not me at all. I don't go around asking nobody for money. So I just wanted to let you know that and let you know about this article. In the meantime, have a nice evening. Thank you.